Hey everybody, it's Nick Fat Knight here with the Platinum Medal run for the 5th Rushviet mission, The Future of War. For the challenges this time around, we need to capture 4 resource nodes before the alarm is sounded, finish the mission in less than 35 minutes, and we can't build or man any weapon systems. So no AT guns, heavy machine guns, or mortars. We have a new primary objective. Tell us what is needed. Let's start by capturing the 4 nodes before we set off any alarms. Establish an HQ with your engineers. Have your vanguard unit pick up nearby stockpiles and then capture the iron ore on the east. Send Yannick to capture the oil rig just north of you and then send him right back to HQ. Set your grenadiers just northeast of the mine the vanguards are capturing. Don't overextend them. If you overextend them, they'll be spotted by enemies and set off the alarms and you will fail the challenge. Once the engineers are done building the HQ, send them to capture the iron mine on the west. Once kept, send them back to HQ, picking up any stockpiles they find along the way. Once the coast is clear, send your engineers to capture the last decapped iron mine. Once capped, send them back to HQ. Right around this time, upgrade a few of your mines and build a barracks. Send Zubov and Yannick to the west. Get ready to fight the enemy. What are they doing here? Alarm! <sighs> Scotty, in a few minutes, this place will be crawling with Saxonian pigs. Building upgrade complete. We're getting ready to face off with some waves of enemies. Let's go ahead and drop a quick save. What's the latest? If it's worth my attention. This first wave is huge. Focus Zubov and Yannick on the pillbox. Once it's destroyed, send Zubov to target mechs. Focus on gunners and large blobs of infantry with Yannick. If Yannick becomes incapacitated, do not worry. Zubov is pretty good at holding his own. Just make sure to target the Hans and the gunners before taking care of the rest of the infantry with Zubov. Back at HQ, make sure you are building a workshop with one of your engineers. Also, build a bunker and upgrade it near your oil rig. We'll need this for later into the mission. Back at our mech onslaught, Zubov should almost be done with the infantry. Send your grenadier and vanguard over to try and pick up gunner pickups. We'll also send over an engineer unit to pick up and heal Yannick. When the smoke settles on this fight, send a unit to capture the oil rig. Once the engineers are done healing Yannick, we're going to build barbed wire right by the oil rig. We want to hold on to this rig for the secondary mission, so we're going to funnel all enemies in from the east instead of them attacking from the north. Once the barbed wire is down, use these engineers to start building bunkers to defend the area. We want two pointing east and two or three pointing west for later in the mission. We're going to upgrade these bunkers throughout the mission. Newly acquired gunners will hunker down in these bunkers. Send Zubov and Yannick back to HQ. Build a knock mech out of the workshop. Build any additional gunners if you weren't able to get any of the the pickups from earlier. team consisting of Zubov, Yannick, an engineer unit, and Nako will go east to face off with a wave of enemies. Lead with Zubov and have him focus on any enemy artillery and mechs. The Nako and Yannick will support from the back. Engineers will heal anyone whose health is getting low. On the west side, continue to build and upgrade bunkers to prepare for another wave of enemies. New job? Enemy unit sighted. our feet will Time to
Just south of the enemy's most eastern rig, have the engineer build two bunkers and upgrade them here. These will be for later in the mission. Have Zubov here focus on the Votan, use the Nako to support him. While they deal with the mech, have Yannick deal with the infantry. Once the Votan is defeated, fly Zubov north to deal with the Urkenig. Use the Nako and Yannick to support with all other units in the area. See this bunker in the middle is being attacked right now? They can hold off all infantry, so they'll be fine. Just once that fight is over, we want to send engineers to heal them up. Here we're going to build a second Nako and send it to support our mechs in the northeast. We're going to go ahead and capture this iron rig. We need to be holding five at the end of the mission to get the secondary objective. The enemy is going to try and decap some of ours, so the more we hold, the better chance we have of hitting five. We're gonna head northwest and deal with another large blob of units. We're gonna use the same strategy here. Zubov in front, taking care of mechs and artillery. Yannick and Nako is behind him, laying down support. Engineers healing anybody that needs it. You'll see that the enemy is decapping our oil rig. We're gonna build a Nagan to take care of them. Once they are gone, we're gonna have our gunner step out of the bunker and recap that rig for us. Drop a quick save and let's head into the last big fight of the mission. All I need is coordinates. Moving into position. Report. Moving to see. Same strategy here we've been using the whole time. Few Bob in front taking care of mechs and artillery. Yannick and Nako's laying down support where needed. Engineers healing where needed. There are two Votons in this area, so Zubov may fall. If that is the case, double Nako the Votan, and then send the engineers to pick up Zubov. Same story if Yannick ends up falling. Be sure to capture this oil rig and the one that we lost down south. Remember, we need to finish the mission to get the secondary objective of holding five nodes. Heal up Yannick and Zubov and send them into the enemy base. Once you step foot into the base, this will trigger an event where enemies are pouring in from west and east, exactly where we set up our bunkers. Get multiple alerts that your bunkers are under attack, but we don't really need to worry about them. They'll take care of business. Back at the enemy HQ, we need to clear enemies out of this area. Once enemies are all cleared out, use Yannick to capture the flag and end the mission. If completed with five or more nodes in under 35 minutes, you will earn your platinum medal for this mission. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We have more Platinum Metal Run videos on the way. 
If you have an idea for a future Iron Harvest video, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to follow Nick Fat Knight at the following social media sites. We'll see you next time.